Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about a Bergia Nudebranch, or Nudebranch. I've used these before. Those of you who are new to the hobby, they're supposed to be Aptasia killers or Aptasia killers, these things. I have these pest anemones in all my tanks now. What I'm going to do today is put them in my refugium and see how they work. All right, so the Bergia just got here. They come in a container, a small plastic container. I got five to start out in my refugium. I've used Bergia before, but I couldn't control what was happening because I really couldn't see them. I didn't know whether predators were eating them. So you can see them in there. I got five total. They look quite healthy now. These are already breeding before they came. That was one of the requirements they needed to have. And right now I'm just temperature acclimating. And what I noticed, which was really great, and that's the refugium temperature right there. Five minutes ago, it was 76. So there is only a small degree of temperature change. So what I'm gonna start doing, using this turkey baster, I'm gonna replace water back and forth. I'm gonna take some of this water out. I put it in this container and then I'll put some of my water in and I'm gonna extend this acclimation period for about a half hour. So there they are, there's one right there. These are good size. So now I can do a great experiment because I have so many in here and I have some in my other tank. So if I put these in and they start to breed and they do away with these, then I'll introduce them into my other tanks. Look at all these pods I got going on here. I got tons in here. All right. Yeah, as I said before, I've used Bergia before but I've never had a controlled experiment. So this time I can put them in there, in the refugium, and see what happens. I'm going to do a 10 milliliter exchange each time over a half hour. These look really healthy. They're large. The last time I got these, they were smaller than this. So I'm pleased with that. See these two over here? They're mating already. You know, they sometimes will come attached and they're mating when they're attached like that. So that's pretty cool. There's one down there. I got five for the five gallon. My guess is one is hiding somewhere. There's another one over there. All these guys eat are Aptasia. They don't eat anything else. So what I'm hoping is that they'll reproduce in my refugium and then maybe I can transfer some of the new offspring when they get large enough into my other tanks. But my guess is that may not happen. I'll just have to order some more. Okay, so I'm winding down the acclimation process here and I'm putting the last amount of water into the container. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna fill it right up to the top on this last exchange, and I'm going to submerge the cup on its side into the water and allow the Bergia to climb out. And I'm gonna submerge it, and I'm going to magnetize it with the magnets I have. I'm also going to place it really close to where there's some Aptasia. There. See how that holds it down? All right. So there they are. They haven't moved too much yet, but we'll check back in an hour or so. I know they're group killers, but I've never seen them actually go to work except in videos. I may tone the light down just for a couple hours to see if that helps. All the Aptasia were back in here but they've retracted because I've moved. I've brought the light down to about 4%, so it's not real bright in there anymore. That's good enough. And we'll check back in an hour or so and see if they've come out. And they haven't moved too much. It's been about two hours now. One has, it's at the lip. It's hard to see here. It's at the lip of the cup on its way out. So what I think I'm going to do is shut the light out. A Bergia are 
nocturnal. So they don't do a lot of munching during the day. They do it at night. So I'm gonna shut my refugium light off for the rest of the day. It's about three o'clock and uh, see if I can see anything the rest of the day if they start moving out. It appears that two of them have come out and two have stayed in. So we'll have to check in the morning. See what happens. Oh, is that him? Cool. I think he's on a Naptasia already, guys. <laughs> Look at him. He's making his way over already. The only thing is, is they're group killers. So he may not be able to do anything. Now, I don't know. Let's, we'll have to keep an eye on that. They're usually group killers. So he's by himself right now. And hopefully he will, I don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> but this is a great experiment. You can't rush Bergia. Sometimes it takes months for them to multiply and then they'll do their job. This is gonna be a great controlled experiment for me to see if that happens. But this guy is doing great. He may have even done that right there. But Aptasia also, if they're too tiny, will eat Bergia. So he may not attack that Aptasia there because he's by himself.